So what steps would you take to commission a dose calculation software? How would you do the acceptance testing in which beam parameters need to be commissioned? This is a very important question for a medical physicist because we are in charge of the dose calculation algorithms within the uh, TPS and we need to verify that these are working properly and giving us an accurate description and understanding of what the dose is going to be. So this is commissioning for dose algorithm software and again, you always want to reference a task group when you can, and this is TG53. So the first thing you want to do when commissioning is input data checks to verify that the TPS reproduces the correct data that you put in. So you do all of this work with the water tank, getting your percent depth doses and just various values. You need to verify that those are what's actually in the TPS beam configuration. If there was some type of corruption or the wrong file added, Anything wrong there is going to yield incorrect results when you start using your treatment planning system. So I'll just put input checks or input. Then you want to check the algorithm with the measurement. So that goes together. You want to look at the accuracy of this algorithm. You then want to see when the dose algorithm breaks down and become inaccurate. So you're going to want to try really high differences, uh, HU between lung and body interfaces. You want to see small fields, a, a lot of modulation, push this algorithm to its limit so you understand where the accuracy starts to break down. So you want to do this via water phantoms. Any type of anthropomorphic phantom is also good. You want to use a variety of plans. So, I mean, prostate, VMAT, SRS, SBRT, gating, any type of plans you could think of you want to test. And those are in TG53. And there's also much more in there. Read the task group, know what it says, be prepared to talk in depth about how you'd commission a dose calculation algorithm because you are five minutes a question. I think that's a, a pretty standard and thorough answer. So now how about the acceptance testing? So again, reference TG53. So normally that normally this is only one physicist. Because remember the difference between commissioning and acceptance testing. So here they want to check the hardware. You want to check the software. I'm going to do soft here. And then you want to see what the accuracy of the dose calc in specific circumstances are. Typically, this can be done with the vendor. They normally walk you through this, but it could also be just by yourself too if you are familiar with it and you don't need the vendor. And then you, how in my clinic, the vendor came to me, they showed me all the paperwork, they showed me what should be available and accuracies could happen. We then proved that and then I had to sign papers saying I was there for the acceptance testing, I agree with what they said, all that good stuff. Then which beam parameters need to be commissioned? So first thing is the beam description. So this is important. You obviously have a description for the beam. So this means the energy, what are you going to call it? What are the default parameters? You need to check the geometry. You want to check any type of beam modifiers. So whether that be TSE trays, whether it be, I don't know, cutout factors, any type of modifiers you're going to have potentially. You also want to define your field definitions. You then want to have information about your wedges and your normalizations. So be very familiar with beam config, what is in there, what percent depth doses that you've used, how do you calculate your DLG, all of that stuff. 
So this is a broad overview of dose calculation softwares and algorithms and how to commission them, but know what QA you do on them, know how you would commission them, and be prepared to answer that on your part three exam. It is a very viable question they could ask. If you have any questions at this point, send them my way. I'll help where I can. Happy studying, and we'll catch you in the